Let me grab my brush for my hair, love. Ah. Oh. Hello. Jack's just gone to get a KFC. From um, the reception left. I've had a lovely shower this morning. I've washed my hair. But I do need me, I do need my hair doing. Because I've got roots, darling, roots. Hello, thank you for the daily heart means, everybody. Why isn't Miss Dread on? Miss Dread is a part-timer. Miss Dread is on part-time wages. I'm just trying to turn this fan off. It's doing my head noises, Making all the weary noises. Hello, my darling gloves. Are you okay in the world? Happy 39, 30. I'm 34, so I don't know what you're talking about, love. I am 34 years young. I'm closer to 30 than I am to 40, yes. Did you know about it? She doesn't do Sundays, I know. She's, she's a part-timer, isn't she? When I'm in the UK, I do every single day. I don't let anyone down. I do literally every single day. I uh, thought you were only 29. No, 34 now, love. <clears throat> 34 years of age. I got this Barbie brush from Primark in Amsterdam. I went Primark yesterday. Thank you for the daily heart muse, everyone. Hello, oh, I love you too, official FYP. Hello, babes. We're friends on this account. Thank you so much for the I love you. Yeah, I got quite, I got this new tracksuit as well. It's lovely. <clears throat> Look, cost me 50 quid. 50 quid. Hello, my darling Nathan, my sexy babe. How are you? The Primark was dead good, actually. It was like, it was good. I got this for 50 quid. I got it from a different shop, though. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's got little skulls on and all that. It goes all the way down the legs. It doesn't go down the front. That's just like me legs on a weird angle. It goes down the side. Looking gorgeous she said, thank you, my love. I was up early this morning. That's cheap for a tracksuit. I know, isn't it just? Thank you, Chris Deacon, for the hand heart. Thank you. Isn't it just? Oh, happy birthday. It was my birthday on the 7th. It's just my birthday week, so I've left it as my birthday. And lots of you have given me lovely presents for my birthday. Thank you so much. Yes, we'll have all the gifts for Evil Queen. Thank you, Lauren. White Wolf, thank you so much. Thank you, White Wolf. Jack is on his way back up. He's just gone to get a KF for friends, White Wolf. Thank you so much. Um, how come... Oh, I missed that. Oh, the vape matches my nails, I know. It's funny, isn't it? Nick, thank you so much for the tray, my God. Just choo-choo. Thank you, beautiful. You need to come to Northern Ireland. Oh, do I, love? How's the dam been so far? Yeah, it's been great. How come you're not getting, going in the house now? Oh, I wouldn't go in that shit show. If, if you, if, well, if, if you paid me, I would, but I wouldn't go in there for absolutely nothing. Are you joking? Have you seen the unstable people they've got going in there? Like, I would never. Listen, if Gem Zeno went eh, to me, I'd go bang, and that'd be it. You know what I mean? The police would be there. I'd be getting fucking sent down and all that. You know what I mean? I'm not putting myself in a situation um, because I could react violently. You know what I mean? So... So I just wouldn't put myself through it. I'd end up locked up. It'd be all on camera, you know what I mean? I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to um, control my temper. I wouldn't be able to do it. I just know I wouldn't, you know what I mean? Thank you so much, Jake. Thank you, babes. I'm already undiagnosed with something. You see what I'm like, you know what I mean? So I've already got something going on. Who knows what it is then? <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Who knows what it is then? It's either bipolar or BPD, one of the two, because I am not right. So I come from a generation of all, all these undiagnosed shit. I'm a loon, so I could never be in a house with anybody who was giving me cheek, you know what I mean? I'd see red. And then I'd be, I'd be very aware that people were watching. And if she got away with it, then people would then mock me and go, aha, you got told by la la la. When in reality, I would like probably react a lot differently if there wasn't a camera around, you know what I mean? Thank you so much, Jake. Thank you, babes. Yeah, there's definitely something. I'm going to the doctors. 
I'm going to the doctors to find out. <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I couldn't go in that house. One, for my own safety, because you know what would happen, fucking... You'd get everybody going, Ew, she's there, is she? I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up. So I, I don't even want to put myself in that position, you know what I mean? Hello, Jack. Hello. Literally how I am, Chelsea, it's ADHD. The rage is ridiculous. Oh, thank you, Ms. K. Hello, Jack, everyone's saying. Hello, <laughs> But it's my birthday on the 7th, but if you haven't already given me a gift for my birthday, then I expect one now, you know what I mean? So, get your cash on. Good morning. Oh, in Amsterdam, they got plastic McDonald's cups and I've got a collection of them. Thank you, babes. Thank you, Arsenal. Thank you so much. Why did they put all the salad tape over the drink? I understand what I like, but... Thank you, Jake. Thank you for the hand clap, Jake. Hello, Marcus Ems, my gorgeous girl. Hello, beautiful. We love you. I thought AR was lovely last night. I, I actually think that it just goes to show that people put acts on for camera, you know what I mean? Because he couldn't have been any nicer last night. I've, I've ended up liking AR now, you know what I mean? I think he's sound. The way he was with Ems and all that, like, I, I think he's all right. Like, I've changed my opinion of him now, you know what I mean? It just goes to show, though, doesn't it? People are putting an act on for TikTok because he wasn't anything like he was usually, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's with Ems. Thank you, Kevin, for the chicken. Oh, yeah, I've got into the drink. Yeah, he looks sound, Ems. I've watched all the footage. He was fine. And then he's dancing with you and everything. It was cool. Thank you, Evil Snoopy. Yes, love. Why is it? Sissy. Sissy, you're sissy boy. <laughs> no bubbles. Yeah. yeah, his act as he trolls. Yeah, because he was he was dead nice in person like last night with Ems. Love the jewelry. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Um, looked like yes, she had a good night for once with somebody who did who was all right. You know what I mean, Sam. And I'll be going to meet up with Ems as well. In the near future. Yeah, uh, 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 Most Hated, a.k.a. AR, was at Ems's last night. And um, they had a good night. No drama. It was bad in Hustle's boxes on here. Oh, tag me in it. I haven't seen it. He was done for violence scene swimmer, though, wasn't he? Well, maybe she deserved a smack, you know what I mean? Some people deserve a smack, don't they? Thank you, Kennedy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, Jim. Oh, I like a little smack on the bum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the daily heart me. Oh, yeah, don't forget your daily heart me's and double tap the screen. Let's get to 100,000 as well. Hello, Tiffany. Hello, babes. Are you okay? AR and M's need to work for CSA. What does that mean? Yeah, but what you've got to realise is as well, so, like, people are saying about AR and he's done domestic violence and all that type of stuff. What if the woman did something, like, maybe struck him but didn't, like, make a mark and he's reacted, for instance, you know what I mean? Like, to violence on him or something. You never know the full story, do you? You know what I mean? That jacket is cool. It's a tracksuit. I got it yesterday. It was only 50 quid. I was dead surprised. Facts. Hello, my love. We like you now, Miss Tater. I'll follow you now. <laughs> I'll follow you now. Uh, un unwarranted violence is not nice. Obviously, you shouldn't be doing that. But, like, you don't know what's happened. Maybe she threw things at him and was violent to him. You never know the story, do you? Thank you, little Miley. Thank you, babes. It, women are not always right, you know, when it comes to these things. You know what I mean? Just because it's a woman doesn't make it th them right. You know what I mean? Some women are stronger than men. Oh, yeah, I love M's. Some women are stronger than men, you know what I mean? Who's to say she wasn't psych, psych, what's it called, babe? Um, psychologically abusing him. Mm. 
how do you know she wasn't like putting them down all the time you know what i mean and this that and the other because you can have many forms of abuse so i can't imagine that somebody would erupt into violence for absolutely no reason obviously i know this thank you laura i know in 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 most cases like domestic violence is like ratty people but you know what I mean? i'm not saying everyone deserves it but How would any of you react, okay, for instance, if your partner stood in front of you and said, like, your family are this, that, and the other, and they slag this person off, would you go like that and give them a smack, you know what I mean? Because not everybody just walks away. You know what I mean? So, who knows the story? Nobody but AR and the woman. Thank you, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for the Daily Heart Muse. AR said rise. Oh no, I don't have anybody on my lives. I'm on my own, love. <laughs> but I, I, I don't believe that like uh, AR's a bad person after seeing him at M's. The way he was, the way he was with M's was nice, so you know what I mean. <clears throat> Thank you, Michael. That voice is so annoying, but you choose to be here, you know what I mean? Life's a choice and you're making a choice to sit here listen to someone whose voice irritates you. Like, I just don't understand the logic, to be honest. I wouldn't go into anyone's lives and, live and say, oh, you annoy me. I'd just ignore them. I'd just totally ignore them. AR doesn't need clout. He was with Ems last night and she has thousands more than me. So, AR, AR gets clout anyway. Especially when he said he was dead. Thank you, all that. Too much ice in this drink. Hello, Daniel. Liar. Are we friends, Daniel? I have to check you see, love. Yes, we are. And don't forget that woman is coming onto social media and she's putting her side across this, that and the other. So she's that, obviously that type of person to be out there in the first place, you know what I mean? Otherwise she wouldn't be on saying, oh, this has happened and he did this, that and the other. If she wasn't already a TikToker, whereas I was a TikToker, you know what I mean? Is the best FI shoot P show back tomorrow? No, it'll be back next week then. I left here five years ago. Yeah, she seems obsessed, to be honest, if she's still going on after five years. <laughs> Bun AR's ex. Imagine AR and I was as AR with somebody though. I was saying, imagine him and AR got together. Uh, imagine M's and AR got together. Did you see how M's were talking to Pearl on that last night? She always shows off. Um, well, everybody shows off on here, to be honest, so. I can't badmouth Pearl, Jack likes Pearl. <laughs> Hi, Pearl. <laughs> yeah, he said if he ever leave him, he's gonna marry Pearl. Get all the free hot dogs and burgers. <laughs> You're the realist, liar. Thank you for the daily heart news, everybody. Is your food nice? Mm. Yes. I need my extension to do when I get back. They're hanging out. Well, they're not hanging out, but they're loose. Thank you, Rain. Thank you so much, babes. AR is a child and a girlfriend. Well, why was he staying in a hotel last night? Did he have a row? AR's game must be good for a five-year obsession. Exactly. Some exes are like that, though, you know what I mean? They just never give up. Oh, my birthday was on the 7th. I just leave it on there, hoping for some more gifts, extra gifts. Am I still with your friend? Yes, he's there. He's currently eating KFC. <laughs> he's currently eating KFC. He's eating his KF. Hello, Dylan. Hi, babes. Really dropped off the app, I know, haven't I dropped off? God, I only earn about six grand a week, but I've really fell off. <coughs> fell off majorly, 1.6 thousand people. Uh, God, I've really has fallen off. If I had 100 people, I'd probably say I was falling off, but thank you, Jake, I love you too, thank you, babes. I love the way people come in and tell me I'm falling off when they haven't even got as many followers as me. They don't have as many views as me. They don't make as much money as me. I've got 1,000-something 1. 1, subscribers on this account, 500 on another account that I use as a backup. 
So that gets me about two and a half grand a month on the 15th of every month. Thank you, Emma. Thank you so much, babes. Looking fancy. Yeah. Anyone that says a fell off gets blocked. Because <laughs> I can't cope with liars. Love constantly lying. Thank you for saying my hair looks nice. I need the extensions doing though because look, it's kind of like the hanging out too. So they're making like a little ridge. I'm never getting me hit me fringe cut like that again though because I don't like the shorter bit. I don't like the shorter bit on it. Where are you? I'm in Amsterdam. Yes, I'm in Amsterdam. Have to tell Jack to stop pulling them. He doesn't really he doesn't really pull me hair. Like if I if I'm doing doggy, then like he pulls me bum cheek apart to stare at me bum hole like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, White Wolf. That's the only thing he really pulls up. <laughs> Thank you, Gems. Spread them. Spread them. Love your jacket. Thank you. It's a full tracksuit, look. It's a full tracksuit. That's how he knows what colour it is. Pink. No entry there. Like, I never do anything like that. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. I love you too. I never do nothing like that. When he's in the puss puss on all fours, he'll grab a bum cheek and pull it. They're obsessed, men, with the bum holes. They really are. Next is beautiful. Thank you. My dad got me for my birthday. Yeah, mine's exit only. Do you get left in peace or recognised over there? Do you know what? Nobody recognises me anywhere but in the UK. So only if I'm in the UK, people generally... Or if there's an English tourist, but I don't get recognised by anybody else. I'm only, I'm only known in the UK. The host, yeah, the fella on the plane, he, he recognised me, the fella... And he was like, I watch you on TikTok, but it's only British people, really. Yeah, it is. It's all right, Nathan, to be honest. Are you okay today, Nathan? Thanks for the follows, everyone. Yeah, or if I go to somewhere in Spain and the British tourists see me, that's it, really. Same with Chelsea Liar. Chelsea Liar goes, thank you, Serenity. Thank you, Choo Choo. Seren uh, uh, Chelsea Liar gets recognised, but it's by English tourists. It's never by anyone foreign. Like, when she's in these countries, you're not getting natives to the country recognising her, you know what I mean? I watch you from Australia. Well, I've got loads of American people that watch me, but I've never seen any American people, you know what I mean? So, um, it's, a, it's not... It, we're only known in the UK, British TikTokers. Like, Chelsea Liard says, I'm known worldwide, yeah. I'm known worldwide, too, on this app, but being in the same place... Thank you, Marcus, love you, too. Being at the same place at the same time as one of those people is very few and far between, so... You know, Chelsea gets recognised by English people, tourists, generally. Thank you, Angel, and me the same. Tell me a time when you've ever seen me or CLA or anybody get recognised by a local to the place where we visited, you know what I mean? If it's not in the UK. <clears throat> it's never happened. We're only known on TikTok by, by people who watch TikTok. So... Thank you, Julie. It was my birthday on the 7th. But I've just got it up in case I get a few extra gifts, you know. Hello, Black Pope. It's true, though, isn't it? I know who I am, you know what I mean? I know exactly who I am. Like, I know that I'm only known in the UK by people who are British, really, you know what I mean? Obviously, Americans and other people, Canadians and everything, but having them in the same place in the same time as me. Then again, I did get recognised when I was with DC Dector in that place which is British abroad, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't remember what, it was, what it's called. But there's a, a place abroad in Spain which is British colony and they identify as British with British passports. When I was there, if you remember... Um, one of my moderator's husbands, I didn't know my moderator, yeah, Gibraltar. One of my moderators lives in Gibraltar. And I didn't know she lived in Gibraltar. And her fella recognised me and then they come along, do you remember? I had two people come over. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> so, yeah, so it's only normally Britain that I'm uh, recognised in. If I go places, the staff and stuff, wherever I go and the... My friend knows you and lives in Saudi. Yeah, but I mean, there wouldn't be like 20 Saudi people chasing me down the street. Oh my God, I know you off TikTok, you know what I mean? A chance encounter with somebody maybe, but 
you know none of us are known in that in that way by americans or or anyone over here you know what i mean like you wouldn't get dutch people knowing who british streamers were for instance like people know who american streamers are like if if neon or bloody a few of the others when anywhere they get mobbed you know what i mean whether it's uk or anywhere they're really really famous you know what i mean like gypsy rose she everyone knows it across the world she gets seventy five thousand people watching it i get one point well on a live when i'm just sat here like this like 1.5 to 2 and then when i'm doing my fyp it can be anything from three up um but yeah not we're all little tiny fishes on the tiktok you know what i mean like none of us are like a-list celebrities or anything like that we're only known by users of tiktok do you know what bugs me as well as people go, what would they do if TikTok stopped tomorrow? Why do you think TikTok's going to stop? Like, do you think it's like a TV series and they're like, right, that's it now. We've had five seasons, I'm not going to do TikTok anymore. And you don't think there'd be another app where you could make money. You don't, you think that it'd be, TikTok's gone and that's it. No money for anybody. No streaming anywhere else. No gifts anywhere else. There's already apps competing with this app already. But I don't get why people turn around if you stream me, yeah, exactly. If I stream M's, I think I have fourteen K with you. How many did he have at max with M's? Is it twelve, babe, or fourteen? I think it was twelve. Twelve, sorry, yeah, twelve. Him streaming M's, and she got a random in the house. Depends what's going on, really. What was my point just then? Anyway, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying now. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 that's it. Thank you, boy. Um, so, yeah, so when when the thick people on this app go, oh, I can't wait till TikTok's finished. Why do you think that we're not going to make another another account on an app where you can make money? You don't think we're all going to go there? Like, they're going to stop anyone from making money online. Like, it's never going to stop. So what you want about? This app will get outdated and there'll be another app. Just like Facebook, MySpace, um, you now, all of those apps have been and gone and they're, they're dead in the water now. I never use Facebook, you know what I mean? Unless it was to raise awareness for like something in my area, maybe. I don't really use Instagram. These are all dead apps. TikTok is the main one at the moment, but if TikTok was to go, there'd be another one and another one and another one. So please stop saying, oh, I can't wait till TikTok's finished. What are they going to do then? Well, we'll all congregate onto another app and make money again. So you're never going to stop us making money. There you go, that favourite is slowly building up. Yeah, I've seen Ben Toy constantly advertising that and you get to keep more more percentage of your money on there. It's just you, nobody willingly goes over anywhere. It's like this this uh, TikTok Big Brother house. Do you think people are going to sit there with a website all day long to stab it on? They're not. You know what I mean? They're deluded. They're absolutely deluded. This TikTok Big Brother house is going to be absolutely... Like, it's not going to go very far at all. Thank you, Kaylee. What a, look at that one called Cancelled and there was a 10,000 prize fund. Birdman won that and got the £10,000. You didn't hear it from anybody again about it. Nobody sitting talking about it and all that type of stuff. And like I said yesterday, I don't think that it's even going ahead and it's even got any start date or that. I think Randy Ruffer is loving the attention that's coming with it. Thank you, Boy Yorkshire. So that's why he keeps announcing people, you know what I mean? The TikTok <coughs> Brother House has got no start date at all. He's not even got any dates in plans. And, and they're saying they're going to use a, an Airbnb. That's somebody who owns that Airbnb. Do you think somebody who owns that Airbnb is going to let the likes of Gem Zeno, if we send footage to them of Gem Zeno throwing milk everywhere and doing this, that and the other, that we're not going to get you kicked out of that Airbnb? You can't just book somebody's accommodation for a week, set loads of cameras up and, and make a show. You can't do that. These are places to stay when you're going on holiday and stuff. Like, so I will find the Airbnb and I will ring the, the owner up and have them kicked out. It's never gonna happen, this house. Never gonna happen. And if you think it is, thank you, SJ. We're friends. I followed you, babes. Thank you, beautiful. Um, so it's not gonna go ahead. It can't happen legally. You've got to have an event license and all that to hold events like that, you know what I mean? You can't just do it and put loads of people in somewhere. You've got to have an events license. You've got to have lots of things in place. It's never gonna happen. Believe me. Believe me. Do you like a little smoke to your SJ, love, with your little leaves? Hello, TikTok Tao. 
you can't just rent somebody's property out, stick a load of cameras up everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, it's not practical one little bit. It's never going to happen. How's your dog? If you're trying to be funny, Zoe, just check out Dog Nanny Liverpool. Hello, little Mel. Dog Nanny Liverpool. And you'll see Coco on a regular basis on there. Thank you, Rosaline. When I'm away, she goes to a dog nanny who is highly trained. Um, she can uh, prescribe medication for the animals and everything. So, yeah. If you're trying to be funny, Dog Nanny Liverpool. I pay hundreds and hundreds of pounds to get her minded. Trina, thank you so much for the one month subscription. I used to let, let me mate have her, but then TikTok started bitching about it. So now I leave her with an actual fully trained dog nanny. So Dog Nanny Liverpool to look at Coco. How are you, KJ? That's nice. You've had a wake and bake, lovely. I'd have a cocoa anytime. Oh, yeah. When I went to America, it cost me like £700 to get reminded. When I've come here, it cost me 280 something like that. And this is only a week. So, she gets plenty of care. Would you recommend Amsterdam? Yeah, if you want to chill. It's not like a place where, like, you're doing stuff all the time, you know what I mean? It's like, you, you it's a chill place. It's not like somewhere you, you could go for high energy, like, you know, jumping off buildings and all that, you know what I mean? It's not that type of place. But it's dead hot here today, and apparently it's going to be the hottest day of the year tomorrow here as well, so... Is there any beaches in Amsterdam? I don't think so, I love Amsterdam, not for kids, but it's ace, yeah. Well, there is a lot of people with kids. With kids in there. Something that looks like sand. I don't know if it's a beach. Maybe, maybe Google, babe, somewhere like outdoorsy tomorrow, and then I can put I can put me factor fifty on, and we can. There's a beach, Amsterdam. It's raining, Ireland. Oh, hello, Rosaline. Thank you so much for me diamond art as well. Do vapes burn like cigarettes inside? I don't know what goes on inside a vape, to be honest. I don't know. It does have a beach. It does have a beach. There we go. You can go tomorrow. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Just checking out the beach. Amsterdam Beach. Yeah. It's got sunbathing, swimming, beach bars, or impressive wildlife. Everyone type hi, Jack. What impressive wildlife is there going to be? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Where are you? Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we'll have all the Jacks about town. No, it's just because people normally come in and go, where's your dog? You feel sorry for that dog. Well, I wouldn't feel sorry for the dog. We've been at our luxury accommodation, though. <laughs> She's hanging around with loads of other dogs. She's getting lots of enrichment. So why would, like, anybody feel sorry for my dog? That's what I don't get, you know what I mean? She's got plenty of enrichment in her life, constantly. So. And I'll be moving house soon as well, so I'll have my own garden and everything, you know, so, like, she can be in the garden more and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So Coco's got a very full, enriched life. It was my birthday on the 7th, Josh. It's just on there because I'm leaving it on for the week, you know what I mean? Hoping for more gifts, like a lion maybe, or a uni or something. <laughs> Gracie gave me like this um, £200 gift the other day. It was like a big rose carriage. It was lovely. You can travel to Rotterdam from the train station, babe. Really? Yeah. What's there to do there? What's there to do in Rotterdam? What's there to do in Rotterdam? Good morning, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for the happy birthdays. It was my birthday on the 7th. It's a few days since my birthday now. All right, so we had just explained. The reason I reacted like that is because normally when people go, where's your dog? They're being funny. I didn't say you've meant it like that. You've clarified it once. I've accepted it and said, okay, I'm just explaining like as the reason why. I give that reaction because usually people, when they say, where's your dog? They're trying to be funny, you know what I mean? As if she's like fucking abandoned or something or I've left her in the house with an automatic dog feeder. <laughs> you know what I mean? What type of crazy person? So I've heard it all before. Let me make sure, I'll follow you, Zoe. So I show you there's no hard feelings, love. If I'm not already following you. 
Oh yeah, he comments gone already. He left the comments again. They'll always try and find something. Oh yeah, Laura, I hear it all. You know what I mean? I hear it all the time. Oh, hello, wee Betty. Hello, Maria. Long time no see. Well, I'm on every day, Maria. So you must be missing me. Thank you, Rubes. Thank you so much for the you're amazing. You're amazing too. Right, Jake, followed you. Boy Yorkshire, followed you. Loving your hair. Say, well, I washed it this morning, like, so. But uh, I don't like the shorter fringe bit. It's doing me in, so. I can't wait till it grows back out. It only takes a few weeks. Hello, Joe. Jay, I hope you know, love, this Big Brother thing's not going to happen. It can't happen in a million years. Um, so I know you've, you're you a contestant and all that type of stuff. Hello, Kat. But you can't... They will. They would need, in order to accommodate all those people, they can't just use somebody's Airbnb, somebody's home, to host a show with loads of volatile TikTokers. You're not volatile, but I'm saying there's a lot of volatile people who have been rumoured to be going in. Um, so they would need an events license because they're holding an event with multiple people. Um, they can't just stick cameras up in somebody's Airbnb and off we pop, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, uh, there's people with mental health issues that are getting chosen to go in who cut themselves on alive and stuff like that, you know? So, like, I know you're getting all made up. Thank you, KJ, but it's just not, it's not going to happen. It's never going to materialise. It's going to be one of those things. And he's only doing it because um, he's getting attention. That's why he keeps announcing people, because he's getting attention from it. No other reason. It's not going to happen. In a million years, there's too many red, much red tape to go through. You know what I mean? People who go into these these shows, they get uh, mentally assessed. You know, you've got vulnerable people in there. Um, who were rumored to be going in there. Like, what 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 Airbnb would want to accommodate Gem Z? You know, who throws things all over the place, does handstands up the wall with the dusty dusty ankles. You know what I mean? Like, there's not a chance in God's green earth. So. I don't know why people are still going on as if they're going to be in it. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. There's too many things that would need to be put in place before they did anything like this, you know what I mean? That that cancelled, had cameramen, it had everything, you know what I mean? Like, they had it all set up properly. It was held in a big hall, this, that and the other. Like, they had everything in place. There was a £10,000 prize, you know what I mean? You can't just put a load of people into a house. There's health and safety as well. If health and safety got a hold of it, they have to come in and, and, and okay everything and that. Like health and safety just nearly went. Um, health and safety would have a field day. You can't just put a load, load of people in and put cameras everywhere and, ex and expect it to all be, oh yeah, that's allowed. It's not. It'd be closed down quicker than anything by environmental health as well. Honestly, SJ, it's just not going to happen ever. So he's only literally announcing people for attention because he's getting numbers off it and people are like, who's the next person? But it's not going to happen. Get, get to grips with that fact. It's not going to happen. No matter how much you wish it would or, or you wish to be going in and all that, it's not going to happen. This man is a failed roofer. He can't even hold a business down doing roofing. Otherwise, he wouldn't be on TikTok all the time with all this free time till four or fives in the morning or whatever time he stays up till. Like, he can't even hold his own business down, let alone being responsible for 12 people. Like, it's just not going to happen. Oh, the security there, two security guards. You, did you see the police against all those people doing those riots and all that? You think that 20 people can't just turn up with all the mates? And what are two security guards going to do? What are even three going to do? You know what I mean? And security guards generally, thank you, CB. Like, security guards gen generally are not people who are, like, any skilled in any way, you know what I mean, type of thing. They stand in the shop in, in Superdrug and, and Morrison's and things like that. Like, you're chatting a load of shit. Like, stop chatting shit. It's never going to happen in a million trillion years. And nobody can say you're jealousy. That's jealousy speaking, because I was the se second one to be announced. Thank you, Neil. And I dropped out. I wasn't kicked out. I wasn't told I couldn't be on it. I, of my own accord, dropped out the day after, after considering 
all of these things that I'm saying. So nobody can put what I'm saying down to being jealous in any way because I was the second person chosen and I dropped out the day after. Thank you so much, Neil. So... I am right. There's just no chance it's ever going to happen. Don't care what anyone says. Oh, let me check that. I followed you, Neil. Yeah, we're friends. Thank you, Neil. You don't come across jealous of anyone. Uh, do you know what? That's what they try and say. Oh, jealousy talking, but it's not because I was the second one announced and I left. Thank you, Rosaline, for subscribing. And I said, no, I'm not taking part in it. I slept on it. And then I watch loads of lives about people's safety. And how the hell is, is Pearl saying that Devon's going in with that? Because Devon was dead against it all. He had the most to say about it, but now apparently Devon's going in too. Like, it's just an absolute joke. Devon Angel, goddess's son. So they're chatting the most and people are, I don't like people being fooled, you know what I mean? That's why I have such a tough stance on it because I, I use it being fooled. The or people who are watching are being fooled that this is even going to happen. That it was even going to happen, you know what I mean? So it's just absolute lunacy in my opinion, but even, um, even if it did out of pure spite they tried to do it, I would get it closed down. I would go live with my thousands and thousands of people who watch me on a daily basis and I would look around the house for lamps and whatever's in the background because they can't hide that building. They can't hide that building. So once them cameras were there, for instance, we know it's going to be an Airbnb that they're talking about. So we just go on Airbnb and someone will find it. They find Chelsea Lee Art everywhere she goes. <clears throat> so you, you think that the address is not going to be doxxed, you know what I mean? That people's enemies are not going to turn up, you know what I mean? And this, that and the other. Like, you're absolutely deluded. So, yeah, absolutely. I'll do a big investigation. We'll find out where it is. We'll contact the owner of the property. Tell them about the damage that's going to be caused by the likes of Gem Zeno and that, you know what I mean? Because she doesn't care less about throwing milk everywhere. Look at what she did outside that store the other day. It's about to get milk in here and throw loads of milk everywhere. So, and she doesn't care about her own home, Gem Zeno. She throws things out the window. She paints with it. She paints the, the outside with a mop. So you think that Gem Zeno is the right person to be put in somebody else's property? That's not his. Doesn't matter how many contracts you try and get them to sign to say they won't damage anything or they're responsible for damage. How are you going to enforce that? How are you going to enforce it? It costs a lot of money to take people to privately prosecute them because it's not a criminal offence to, to throw milk or damage an Airbnb, for instance. It's a civil matter. So the police wouldn't even get involved unless the owners complains and give the footage in, you know what I mean? Then it'll become criminal. So he'd be responsible for everything, the damage, the lot. Whoever pays the bill for the accommodation is responsible. So that's what I've got to say on the matter. It's not going to happen. It never will. The chat and shit, you know what I mean? The chat and shit. Hello, Sarah Jane, my love. If they were putting normal people in, it wouldn't go, it wouldn't go wrong. Like Jay Carter, he's not looking like the type to go in and do anything, you know what I mean? He's like, I think the only one who I'd say is not going to be capable of fucking up, you know what I mean? Because we've seen what he's like, he's placid, he's laid back, he's chill, you know what I mean? Look at what they did to Cheyenne, exactly, they're going to put people in who are capable of destroying property around them, you know what I mean? It's not going to happen then. It's just a cloud chasing exercise, that's all it is, a cloud chasing mission. You love my nail colour? Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Thank you, Debs. Thank you, Tracy. I doubt Becky Jones is going to go in love. She's far too uh, well known on here and she's getting a gastric band and all that type of stuff. I highly doubt it. I doubt she's going to be going into any fucking house. She's doing well good on her own. If that's the same person we're talking about. I don't know, babe. She's a big fat girl. Right. Yeah. Like, like 50 chins. Yeah. <laughs> she 
<laughs> exactly, SJ. You tell them, girl. Oh, Becky Jones. The, oh, this must be a different one. They're talking about a different Rebecca. Oh, we're not even talking about the same person, love. We're not even talking about the same person. I don't know this Rebecca woman. Probably just one of us, mate. Let's see who goes live with, you know what I mean? Never heard of them in my life. Never heard of them in my life. Never gonna happen. I can't be jealous when I was a confirmed housemate, the second confirmed housemate, and I dropped out of my own free will. So if I was jealous, that'd be because I hadn't been chosen, for instance, but I was chosen the second one in. And then I dropped out the next day. So tell me what there is to be jealous of, please, love. I'll be making thousands of pounds while all these creators are in there, if it goes ahead. Oh yes, love, because they'll all be off live. They'll have no one to watch. Who are they gonna watch? <laughs> so absolutely, love. Thank you, Nick. Just block them, yeah. Bye bye. Exactly. Get me up. I wanna say something. Send me a uni um well, a universe, an interstellar, and I'll get you into the box. Because don't let anyone in the box. So if you're gonna pay to get in, you can come in. And if you send a lion, you can be a moderator. That's the way it works around these ways. Everything has a price. Because as you can see, I don't need to, um, I don't need to get anyone in to have views or numbers or anything, you know what I mean? So me just talking away like this gets me all the views. So you have to pay for my time, love, it's not free. Am I rich? Well, I'm not a millionaire or anything, so I'd say no. I think anyone who's a millionaire is, it will be considered rich. You know what I mean? Thank you, satisfying. Thank you so much. So no, I'm not. I'm not rich. I've just got money in the bank. Well, I'm not rich. Everyone on here is the same. Only for money, yeah. Absolutely. If we're offering something back, then why shouldn't we have money off people? Why shouldn't people send a tip? Do you tip your taxi driver when you get out? Do you tip the delivery driver who comes to? Do you tip a bar bar staff who saves you a pint? They're only saving you a pint. They haven't done anything for you, have they? Let's face facts. My audience tip me as if I'm working behind a bar. If they're entertained by what I say, or they like what I say, then they'll send me a little gift or whatever. So how are you saying everyone's only up their money? Well, what about bar attendants who stand in a bar, saving a pint? You only get one pint, for instance. Say you walk in, you give them a five pound tip. They haven't done anything for you. They haven't done nothing to deserve a tip other than their job. Do you understand? They're already getting paid. But you'll give a taxi driver a tip, you'll give a bartender a tip, you'll give a restaurant a tip, you'll give a, a delivery driver a tip, but you, you, you're you against people on TikTok, thank you, satisfying, who are entertaining people, getting a tip. That's what basically what you're saying, really. So you, you can't make that make sense, can you? Because that's all people are doing here, is giving tips. They're not giving me the whole entire wage, you know what I mean? There's, that's that's one pound ninety nine. Thank you, sweet. So I just got given a two pound tip, but I'll get like seventy p out of that once TikTok have took there. So I got a seventy p tip. You ain't entertaining her, but you're here, Chloe. So I can't be that not entertaining if you're sitting watching me, can I? Make that make sense? Because I don't watch anyone who doesn't entertain me. I turn them off. So it doesn't really make sense when you say you're not entertaining now. Well, why are you here? If you're not entertained, because someone has to grab your attention for you to be here, for you to type in the comments. Fans everywhere, yes, SJ fans everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they take 70% of everything I earn, so if I earn a thousand pounds, they take 70% of it. And I get 30%. So we're not on mega money on this app, stop thinking we're all rich and millionaires and all that, because we're not. I still have to come on here and make a wage. I pay my rent, you know what I mean? I have to pay my car insurance, things like that. So I come on and I entertain my people and if they give me a gift, they give me a gift, which they generally do, so. I've been live for 44 minutes and I've had 20,000, so that's 200 pound gifted on this live. So there we go. Can't be that, not entertaining if people are part of my cash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't forget your daily heart me while I'm here as well because thank you so much, Jay. Don't forget your daily heart me with friends as well. Don't forget your daily heart me because you only get one chance to give them. 
a day. You only get to give one a day, and it keeps your member level up there. And you get like a free badge next to your name. And if you give, if you do it consecutively for so many days, it announces you as if you're like a high gifter with a level thirty-seven badge. It'll announce you in the live when you come in. Like it announces Eva Leah, Eva Leah, Jimmy Neutron when she comes in. Thank you, everyone, for the daily heart news. Thank you so much. Yeah, seventy percent. We get robbed, really, as creators on this app. You know what I mean? We get robbed. So people think that we earn a lot because we're getting a lot of gifts and stuff, but it's not. Imagine you going to work and then your work taking seventy percent. There you go. It's announced next. See, this is what it does. So if you if you give a daily heart me every day, which is a penny, yeah. So there we go. So the people who sit and act like we're all rich and we've got all these things that you haven't got, thank you, truly. This is like me going to work, you know what I mean? <clears throat> thank you, Tracy. It's like me going to work, basically. This is my job. I'm down with the HMRC, as this being my job. I'm classed as self-employed. So, and if this isn't a job, then why do I pay why do I pay tax? Thank you, Diane. Thank you, babe. So even after the 70%, I still pay tax on my earnings. So stop making out like, um, oh, everyone's sending all these. Wow, well, you're only on here for money. You know what I mean? I could go and sell me hole and get hole and get more. You know what I mean? There are other jobs I could do and get a lot more. I come on social media because I enjoy it. I used to stream for free when it was Facebook days and all those type of stuff. I used to stream for completely free. So it's not like I'm one of these people who've come along on TikTok. <clears throat> I've been going for years. I was on it when there was no money to be made. Still streaming, still talking to everybody. So this is my passion. It's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy uh, chatting to everybody, like letting you know about my day, this, that and the other. So it's like a virtual vlog, really. Thank you, Choco. Thank you so much, babes. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you, Choco. Satisfying lips, we are friends as well, babe. Thank you. Why shouldn't creators get paid? Exactly. There's 1.7 thousand people watching me now. You know what I mean? Like, so I can't be that not entertaining or nobody wants to watch me and I'm boring or whatever. You know what I mean? Because there wouldn't be almost 2,000 people just sat here while I'm just sat here on a bed. So don't ever come for me, love, because I'll run rings around you. The only good thing is the subscription. The subscriber money is a lot more. So I've got a thousand or something subscribers on here. <clears throat> I've got 500 on another and I'll get about two and a half grand for that. And that's only three pounds a month to subscribe as well. So that that's it. So we do get, I do have incomes in other places. Like I have OnlyFans money. I have um, subscription money. Um, I have TikTok shop commission. Thank you so much, Jasmine, and I have this. So I've got four jobs, really, you know what I mean? So I, I work I work quite hard, you know, like like stream time, if you get me. Thank you, Ch Ch Thank you so much. Can't say your name, Chaka. A subscription campaign coming up. Yeah, I, I, I generally get I get a lot of subscribers and stuff when I do my show. My show is the big major selling point. You know what I mean? Like I get I make a lot off my show, which is good. I love these lives when you just have a chat. Yeah, me too. It means I get to catch up with you all, isn't it? You know what I mean? Could you add a link to the pet brush? It should already be there, but it does sell out quite a lot. So. Because you've got to grab things. My agency put me in a sub campaign. Oh, you should be able to do it. You could, like, feed off mine, you know, like, when I'm back doing me lives. Thank you, Stormy. Hello, Stormy. Uh, back, you could, I could pin you and tell everyone to go to sub to you. And you do, yeah, I do a show, yeah, SJ, 8 o'clock every night. I do the FYP show. So I, I, I like a load of clips, like, all through the day. Thank you, Angie. And then I come on at 8 o'clock and I play the clip. And then I stop it and I have my say on what on, on what I think about the person who's doing the outlandish thing or screaming at the people or, you know, doing this, that and the other. So I, because mine's like an FYP show where like, like the Miss Red show, you know what I mean? She won't say to somebody, oh, you're ugly, this, that and the other where I will, you know what I mean? 
So that's what makes me better than them because they can't say what they'd really like to say because they people pleasers. Like Miss Red wants the audience to love her and she doesn't want to be biased and all that, you know what I mean? Whereas I am, I'm biased towards my friends, you know what I mean? I will stick up for my friend even if they're in the wrong, for instance, you know what I mean? So my, mine is heads and tails above Miss Red show. Whether she has more viewers than me, I make a lot more money than Miss Red on a daily basis. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Kim. We're friends, Kim. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Choco. So mine, mine's authentic, you know what I mean? Why can't I click on Choco? Oh, I can. I'm just making sure we're friends. Hello. Yeah, c and was last night. She was good last night. Miss Red must make a lot. No. Not when you think about TikTok taking their percentage and that. She doesn't. She doesn't. I'd say Miss Red's on about... At max, £500 a week. Max. Maximum. Take home. Maximum. £500 a week. Which is a lot. But still, she's on £500 a week, I'd say about. I'd guesstimate, I'd guesstimate she gets about £500 a week. Hundred pounds alive, maybe because she doesn't come on every day. She she doesn't come on every day either. And she's only got five hundred subscribers as well. Miss Red, if you look, everyone else got thousands. Miss Red's only got five hundred. So uh, me, Zach the Brat, Karma Cars. Thank you, Nick, for subscribing. We've all got over a thousand subscribers. Miss Red's only got five hundred. So that's how you know. The level of someone's success, you know what I mean? And the fact that they haven't got, like, over a set amount of subscribers. So, have a look at Miss Red's subscriptions next time you watch her. Look at Chelsea Lee Art, look at mine. Look at, look at, thank you, Kieran. We're friends. Look at mine. Look at, look, look at all the people's subscribers. And we've all got over a thousand, at least on one account. Even Elphaba hasn't even got, like, the follows and the gifts. She doesn't get it, you know what I mean? So even someone like Elphaba, who gets thousands and thousands and thousands of views, don't make any money. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.